What's up everyone? How's it going in this game? We have a uh, stopper stopper from team homes as our teal Byzantine spawning on the west side of cliffside up here in the northeast. We have scatterbrain from the same clan in homes in yellow as our Holy Roman Empire. Go to our Byzantine really quick. I did see, <gasps> of course, Dark Age Sister. Now, is he going to be going into multiple sister? And doesn't seem like it. Looks like he's just going to be going uh, into the single dark. The into most likely getting the second sister during. No, uh, it'll be after the age up. Once he drops, once his landmark finishes, he'll have enough stone in order to get his second cistern once the second cistern finishes he'll start to connect them basically he'll be able to connect the two cisterns together i don't think he's going to be going for well by i don't think it really does show he's not going to be going for any type of early stone nothing like that going solely based off of the single cistern and it is in a pretty fantastic position as well it covers the entirety of his base able to get the stone the gold obviously the tc the berries which is phenomenal and a decent chunk of the wood as well as well one of the wood lines that's for yeah. sure but still absolutely beautiful cistern location so as you can see right here it doesn't cover the gold like it doesn't actually hit the gold but it does hit the mining cap keep in mind the buff lingers so villagers go in and out they're able to keep that buff and have their gather rate what? increased as well over here for our holy roman empire essentially same thing we've seen for the last two years they're gonna go nice little micro imperial hippodrome coming through for stop stopper right next to the tc as well on top of the only Ooh, it's it's weird to see that the byzantine was able to get to drop the imperial hippodrome or the landmark in general before the holy roman empire because the hre have one of the fastest feudal timings or feudal age ups rather i guess not necessarily a timing but they do age up a lot faster than almost any other civilization i think it has a lot to do with the prelate what? not being able to cover the gold and the food optimally anyways because they're so far apart from each other instead of just micro microing the prelate a few squares he had to go basically a full screen distance away from one another in order yeah. to be able to get those buffs going on everybody Alkin Chapel is still going to be finishing up before the Imperial Hippod Hippodrome even though it started later but that's simply because Scatterbrain does have six uh six villagers on it compared to Stopper who only had who only has four villagers yeah. on his Imperial Hippodrome now as per usual the main question when we do see the hippodrome is how many horsemen do they make before they go into expelatoris generally it's after the third one sometimes we see they we see them get the upgrade after the second second cistern coming down house came down as well which will give home or no excuse me which will get stop stopper yeah. enough stone to connect them now with the aqueduct as well the first horseman is out second cistern or uh level yes, two cistern menos. will be finishing up shortly as well meanwhile already in a good hey, position scatterbrain threw down his outpost on the gold gotta keep those villagers safe there the rest of the villagers are going to be safe under the town center as well 15 villagers just 
cozying up under TC, they will most likely not be getting picked off anytime soon. Five villagers on gold. Perfect amount to be getting thrown into the outpost, which they should be right now. A little overextension from our Byzantine player right there. He was going to try to dive, but really nice reaction time from Scatterbrain. If you guys haven't noticed already, this is a little bit of uh, team on team action. So hopefully there's no bad feelings after this, depending on regardless of who wins or loses. Yeah. Yeah, I have seen internal team bickering before in quite a few other games. So hopefully it's not like this for them. Hopefully they both, whoever, regardless of whomever comes out ahead, they take it as a learning experience, essentially. And yeah, we'll do what real teammates do and help each other out. Improve, get better. Another attempted dive coming through for Stopper. Nice reaction from Scatterbrain. Pulls a few villagers, or pulls all his villagers from gold. And I think it was just normal TC fire, and we are going to be getting the Burgrave out of him as well. So, Aachen into Burgrave. He's going to just try to end this with the fast castle. Spam out as many men at arms as he can. Oh, this isn't going to be looking good for our Byzantine. Especially if Stopper loses. Yeah, he loses the horseman right there. Without scouting as well. I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, he was able to see the Burgrave. That's good at least. Now we are going to be getting a few. Nope, just a single outpost on the wood line for Stopper. Nothing else. He's going to try to go into few. Or, excuse me, into. Castle Age himself, he Eddie is going to be severely be behind, though. From there, he's going to have to just try to spam out as many crossbows as he can. But I really, I don't... Already, four men-at-arms are queued up for Scatterbrain. He has it's marching drills almost done. Golden Horn Tower yeah. is getting thrown up now as well for Stopper. Only five on there, though. So this isn't going to be finishing up anytime soon and all four of the men-at-arms are out and about he did get i actually didn't see which military upgrade he got there i saw marching drills but i saw something else as well these four men-at-arms are gonna go straight into the gold and deny out I, they are gonna just straight up deny the gold at this point there's nothing else to be said there He's not going to be able to move. Stopper is not going to be able to move out anytime soon to regain that. Men at arms are going to be going straight under the town center and start killing off whatever they can at the moment. First man at arm goes down. Second one getting dangerously low. Third one. Fourth one. Oh, they are going to be able to kill off a single villager so far. Akratoi? No, did Akratoi get popped? Yes, it did. He is going to be offensive with these villagers now. Even more villagers are going to be able to move out. Another outpost does come up. That's not going to be as effective as he would want it to be until he hits castle, starts getting springhold emplacements, and even then, or well, not even springhold emplacements, they're going to be Manganel emplacements, which will be beneficial, don't get me wrong, but he needs crossbows. Finally, age up does go a lot of that's way too much idle time those basically the entire economy of stopper was idle in one, in one aspect or another either they truly were idled or they were building the golden horn tower either way yes they are doing something by building the golden horn but I, they're not getting any resources whatsoever so you have to keep that in mind Villagers on the deer patch are going to be getting chased off. Nice reaction from Stopper, but marching drills will allow the man at arms to close the gap. Are they going to be able to do anything by closing it? One villager goes down. A total of five villager kills so far for our HRE. More villagers will be going down now as well. 
What did he go for? Ming? No. Just the arrow slits. Arrow slits is not what he needs at the moment. He actually needed to get the Mangadao in placement. This is as good as game at this point. Way too many men at arms are in the base. 25 out of 27 villagers are being idled right now. One of them is running around with its. Oh, Cataphract is out at least, but that's not really going to be able to do much either. Archery range almost done. But all, all Scatterbrain needs to do is just move one. Yeah, that's all he needed to do was just move one man at arms. GG gets called. Game goes to our yellow Holy Roman Empire player. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.